Ah, the painting that gave Impressionism its name. Well, sort of. In fact, there were paintings described as being Impressionistic before this one. But it is the story of this painting that turned Impressionism into a named movement. Let's spend a minute or two on that story, and then we'll have a good look at the painting itself, because it's easy to get swallowed up in the politics and machinations of the birth of an art movement, and forget that Monet painted this scene at the Port de la Havre to express something. Monet liked painting the same scene at differing times of the day. At the end of his life, it was variations mostly of just one scene, his beloved water lilies. In 1874, he painted six canvases around the port at La Havre. In this one, the Grand Quay at Havre, it is in the bright sunlight of the day. There's lots of colour and action, ships, smoke, goods, commerce. This one, the port of La Havre, is an evening scene, the long shadows extending from the well-dressed promenaders taking their evening stroll along the dockside. From the six canvases, he chose this one, Impression Sunrise, that he decided to exhibit at an exposition in 1874 with fellow artists Degas, Passaro, Renoir, Sisley and others. The exposition took place in a building owned by the photographer Nadar. The exhibition received plenty of positive reviews, but it was the critic Louis Leroy that is remembered. He no doubt had a lifetime of insightful art criticism, but it was his dismissal of Monet's painting as worse than unfinished wallpaper for which he is remembered. His mocking review, written as a response of a fictional art appreciator, concluded, What is this a painting of? Look in the catalogue. Impression Sunrise. Oh, impression, I knew it. I was just saying to myself, if I'm impressed, there must be an impression in there. And what freedom! What ease in the brushwork! Wallpaper in its embryonic state is more finished than this seascape. The rest is history. In a tactic used many times since, rather than arguing publicly with the critic, the artist took hold of the name, embraced it, and Impressionism was born. Impressionism uses visible brush strokes, single composition, light as we see it rather than objects as we imagine them, ordinary subject material, interesting angles, and the impression of movement and holistic perceptions we experience in real life. This is discussed in my video of Monet's The Gare Saint-Lazare, Arrival of a Train, which shows movement, steam and light in a real-world experience of a steam train and compares it to the overly stylized representations others used. Now for the painting. What a painter knows that sometimes their audience does not is that our eyes, our brain, attempts to fill in missing detail in a scene. Because of this, artists learn to suggest or represent objects with just enough detail for our brains to take over and construct the scene. What Monet has done in Impression Sunrise is give us the barest minimum of detail. He has suggested a boat and a fisherman. Because this boat has been suggested, the set of blobs a little further back also read as another boat with people on board. But if we view it up close, particularly without the other boat as a reference, it's just a series of blobs. He has suggested the dockworks and smokestacks, mastered ships and steamboats, all of which only work as we take in the entire scene, not on their own. On their own, they are seemingly random strokes, barely distinguishable from the background. The ripples on the water are also just quick, short strokes, but taken as a whole, we immediately recognise what is going on, our brain filling in the detail. Why do this? Why use just the barest number of brush strokes and detail? It certainly annoyed Monsieur Leroy, who, as we noted earlier, called it unfinished. It is done because it imparts vibrancy, movement, and most importantly, a real sense of actually being there. We are not just having objects portrayed in their detail so that we can in some way marvel at the skill of the painter in portraying a boat, the water, the sky, the docks. No, instead we are there at the port. It is sunrise. There is mist everywhere. 
we can see the atmosphere. Colours are hardly visible in the early light. The machinery in action of the port has barely begun to emerge from the night. The sky is lighting up with the first rays of dawn. The water is alive with its light, dancing off each ripple. We are not looking at a picture of the port. We are there, in the early morning. We feel the chill. We sense the sound of oars and distant voices drifting over the water. We join in on this moment. Because make no mistake, Monet has painted a moment. We sense the start of a new day and the impending action that it will bring. We have an impression of that moment, that sunrise at La Havre in 1874. Impression Sunrise. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.